Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an ActiveX control text box in Excel and then link that text box to another cell in the worksheet so that when you change the value in the text box, the value in the cell will change to match it. This is a spreadsheet that I made in a previous video and I am just using it as an example. So the first thing you're going to need is the developer tab. So right click on the ribbon and go to customize the ribbon. Then tick the box next to the developer tab and OK. And then the developer tab will appear. Now go to insert and select the active X control text box. Then click and drag to draw the text box. Now the text box will automatically be called text box one and it will automatically have design mode selected. You can get out of this by clicking design mode and then if you click inside the text box, you can type something into it. If you have design mode selected, then when you click on the text box, you can edit it. So for example, I am going to open up properties and I am going to change the font size. So I'm going to click on the font and then this small box in the corner will appear. If I click on this, I can increase the font size and OK. And then when I close this, you can see that the font size has increased. Now that I have done that, I need to link up this text box to another cell in the worksheet. And in order to do that, I need to use Visual Basic. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is double click on the sheet that you are currently in, in order to make sure that you are working in the right place. Then I'm going to type private sub text box one underscore change open and close brackets and then enter. This will automatically add in the end sub and will turn the private sub blue. Then type active sheet and the active sheet is the sheet that you are currently in. Then dot cells open brackets one comma one close brackets. So the first number here is the row number and the second number here is the column number. So this is currently telling it to look in cell A1 in the active sheet. Now I'm going to type equals active sheet dot text box one dot value. So this is telling it to look at what the value is in text box one in the active sheet, so the sheet that you are currently in, and then change the value in cell A1 in the active sheet to make it equal to whatever the value is in the text box. Now I have done that, I am going to save it. The first time you try and save it, you will get this pop up here. Basically, normal Excel spreadsheets can't work with code like this, so you need to save it as a special sort of Excel worksheet. So click No. Then the Save As window will pop up here and change the Save As type from an Excel workbook to an Excel macro enabled workbook. And then Save. And now that I have saved that, I can close this. And if I come out of design mode, I can click in here and I can type a number and it will appear in cell A1 here. I'm just going to do that one more time so you can see it work. And this is now changed to 80. Now I'm going to go back to Visual Basic and I'm going to change this number here which is the column number to eight, and then save that change and close it. And now if I change the number in here, it appears in this cell here in H1, because H is the eighth column. 
However, I don't want to actually change the value in this cell. I really want to be changing the value in this cell here. Very simply, I have a formula here which is linking to these two values. And then this table here is what is being plotted on this map. So I want to change it so that when I type into the text box, it will change this value here. In order to do that, I need to go back to Visual Basic. And instead of having it be the active sheet here, I'm going to say active workbook dot work sheets, then open brackets and in quotation marks, put the name of the sheet that you want to change. So in my case, it's going to be sheet two and then close brackets. Then I'm going to save that change and close this. And now if I type in this text box, then the value in this cell here will change. I'm just going to do that one more time so you can see it working. And you can see it has now changed to 40. Now I'm going to do that whole thing again. So I'm going to go to insert and select the active X control text box. Then I am going to draw the text box and change the properties on it so I can increase the font size to 20. Then I'm going to close this and this text box here is automatically called text box 2. So I'm going to open up Visual Basic and then I'm going to use Control C and Control V to copy and paste all of that code. However, this time I want it to be text box 2. And I also want to be changing row 2 instead of row 1. Then I'm going to save that and close it. And now if I come out of design mode, I can type in here and it will change the value in this cell. I'm just going to do that one more time so you can see it working. And now you can see it's changed to 120. So basically, when I change the values in these text boxes, the values in these cells here change, which changes the values in this table, which changes what is plotted on this map. So I can vary the numbers here and then see how this map changes. But all of the data and the formulas and everything are hidden away on another sheet. Now, if I select design mode and hold down control, I can select both of these text boxes and go to the drawing tools format option. And I can make it so both text boxes are exactly the same size. And I can also align them to center so they are lined up with each other. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make an ActiveX control text box and how to link it to another cell in the workbook. And that is everything.